The reason that that soul tie is still lingering is because there are things that tie you in the spirit more than the obvious. This is how you get rid of it. How many of you have asked God to break a soul tie, but you continue to think about this person? You continue to have dreams about them. You continue to be reminded of the things that you guys did together. You even run into that person and all those emotions flood back. Well, first of all, it's not just a, I break the soul tie and it's over kind of thing. Also things that happened during the relationship could have made this soul tie even stronger. So let's say that when you guys were together, your mother died and this person was a person that consoled you. Let's say that this person abused you. Let's say that this person cheated on you. Let's say that this person was constantly telling you that you're worthless, that no one's going to love you because you're fat or you're ugly or you're too skinny. So what you got to do is you got to take that person before your heavenly father and you accuse them for all the things you need to accuse them of until everything is emptied out. So heavenly father, I accuse this person of beating me. I accuse this person of cheating on me. I accuse and go on and on and on until it's you're empty of all the accusations that you could possibly hold against this person. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tell your heavenly father that you forgive them for all these things that you um, just accuse them of. You put the memories, emotions regarding this person, you put them under the full control of the Holy Spirit. Then you're going to go ahead and confess your part. If you held on to unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, if you wish this person was dead, if you cheated on them, whatever you need to confess to, ask the Holy Spirit. Bring it to my mind, everything that I need to confess to. Once you're done with that, then you're going to ask your father to forgive you. You're going to receive his forgiveness, and then you're going to thank, his, thank him for his forgiveness. Now you're going to move on to the rejecting and the renouncing. You're going to reject the soul tie. Heavenly Father, I reject and renounce the ungodly soul tie that was formed between me and this person and on the ungodly bond and then you're going to move on to word curses heavenly father i reject when he said that i was fat and that no one else was ever going to love me i reject the word curse that he said that i was always going to be his then you're going to ask your heavenly father to do the breaking so you're going to say heavenly father i ask that you would break the ungodly soul tie between me and this person the ungodly bond between me and this person then you're going to say heavenly father i ask that you would break the power of those word curses that he spoke over me if you notice that you always go back to the same circles where you seek out or you always fall into abusive relationships or hook up with people that are constantly cheating on you ask your heavenly father to break that cycle you say heavenly father i ask that you would break that ungodly demonic cycle that I go back to these relationships, that I find these people, I ask that you would break the power of this pattern in the name of Jesus. This is also the time that you can ask your Heavenly Father to uproot any lies that were planted by the enemy during this time. You can also command any spirits, any transferring spirits, or any, if you feel like there's spirits that came in through this person, this is a time where you can command spirits to go. You can say, I command any unclean spirit, any transferring spirit, any spirit spouse that came through this soul type. I command you to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then for the last step, you're going to ask your Heavenly Father to cleanse you of defilement. You're going to say, Heavenly Father, I ask that you would cleanse me of all defilement that came through this act, this person, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to picture you before your Heavenly Father as you do all of this. And you're going to say, Heavenly Father, I put this person in your hand and I ask you that you would release me from all spiritual, all emotional responsibility that I feel toward this person. I place them in your hands. And I want you to visualize yourself in front of the father with his hands open you place that person in his hands and then you say i turn and i walk away i declare all legal rights of the enemy have been broken in the name of jesus christ and this case is close and heavenly father i know that you will do justice on my behalf show me in the natural what has taken place in the spirit in the name of jesus thank you father